In this tip of the week, we're gonna get into volume helical sweeps. You may be asking, what is a volume helical sweep, Mr. YouTube man? It's a sweep feature that creates 3D geometry similar to a 3D machining process. It basically revolves a piece of geometry around a helical sweep and removes material from other geometry. Think about things like machined augers, drill bits, decorative or surface finishing, etc. In this tip, Todd Craft is going to show you how to create two different volume helical sweeps. And it'll even show you how to pattern one of them to create really complex geometry. Volume helical sweeps. This is a um... A sweep feature that creates 3D geometry that resembles a machining process. The red part here, or this feature, is going to be the geometry we're going to revolve, and we're going to cut this uh, this piece of metal down here. Okay, so to get started, what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just suppress that 3D object, so we have just the curve there. Okay, the first thing I need to do is I have to have some kind of sweep profile, so I'm going to just make a regular sketch here. And we're going to just turn our planes on here, right here, and we're going to just make a little sketch. We want to line up with this axis up here because we want that center to be the center of our our helical sweep. So let's just make a line. Um, doesn't matter where we start, but we'll try to end it right about there. Okay, so we have that curve in our model. Next, let's go ahead and. Uh, make our volume helical sweep right there. It's under the sweep menu and The first thing we have to define is the sweep profile. That's what I just sketched I pick on that and then the helical or the helix axis and what that is is the center of the uh, rotation right there The center of our 3d object there and then next I want to select a section I already have it selected are sketched out and then I want an axis of revolution for that. This is the 3D geometry that's going to revolve around here. I pick that edge right there. It's pointing in. That's great because that's going to be the geometry it's going to remove. I don't want to point out it would remove everything else. Maybe you want to do that, but I don't think I don't want to do that today. And then the origin, I'm going to pick that point right there. I can pick either point, but notice that when I pick that point, that's going to be the center. It's going to line that point up with our profile over there. Okay, so I pick there. And then it does its magical thing here. It starts to sweep that geometry around. Uh, the pitch value, it does it by by default. It does some kind of math to, to make sure that it doesn't overlap while it's uh, rotating, which is important with any sweep. I can display that helix right there in purple. And I can also drag this around if I want to. Okay when I display the cutter tool. Okay, so that's just uh, another thing up on top. Notice it's now on there and you can see how it's removing the, the material there. So awesome feature. You can also change the pitch if you wish to. On there, I can, I can add a pitch uh, point. I can have it taper from a larger pitch to a smaller pitch. I can have go from a, a large pitch to a small pitch to a large pitch at the end. I can have as many pitch points as I want to. Very simple to easy and change that. I can also do adjustments. I can change the angle of the blue object. I can say I want to change it at 10 degrees maybe. And I can modify that and it'll change the geometry down below. Okay, both the x-axis or the z-axis. I hit OK and then my, my geometry is uh, beautiful. So that is how the volume helical sweep works on a simple model. Let's go ahead and go to a, a little bit more challenging one. This is a, a customer uh, example that they gave me a few years ago and I had no clue how to do it. I actually did it with mechanism, um, but it's a lot easier now. I can just do a volume helical sweep. The cutting tool is up here and notice it's at a 90 degree angle now. Okay, so this is a little bit different, and we're going to adjust that when we go ahead and do the do the uh, adjustment here. So uh, references. This time we have a lead in and a lead out type of curve. Okay, there's the green curve. That's our our sweep profile, and we're going to pick that axis down there as our helix axis, and then we're going to say selected section. Again, we're rotating 90, 90 degrees here. I'm going to pick that section. And then I'm going to pick that, 
that curve as our axis of revolution. And the origin, I have a point right there in the sketch. And it's going to remove a lot of, of geometry here because it's actually not, it's still at this, this uh, 90 degrees. We don't, we don't want that. We want it to rotate 90 degrees from there. So I hit 90 degrees. Now it's going to be like we want it to be. So we have our, our cutter tool coming at that stock piece of material. And let's change the pitch maybe a little bit tighter. And then we'll hit OK. And notice what happens is we have a nice little lead in on the top and a lead out on the back. Now we can go ahead and take that and, and pattern that. Let's do a geometry pattern. And I'm going to do an axis and pick that axis there. And four is good. We hit OK. And this is the resulting geometry that customer was looking for. So perfect. Um, great way to use the volume helical sweep. And I hope this was helpful to you. Thank you. I hope this tip helps you create some really complex geometry in Creo. If you like this video, don't forget to hit subscribe and give us a like. And make sure you leave any comments or questions you might have in the comments below. Talk to you soon.